Hey, it's Caleb Danzi here with Danzi Design Build. And today I wanted to give you guys an update on our basement walkout project in Harriman. And uh, here we have a client who was looking to make a basement apartment for friends and family to live in a secondary unit or potentially have some secondary income ability there in the future. So here I wanna show you guys what we're doing. They have a pretty big RV pad and some retaining walls that we have formed up and got the footings ready to pour tomorrow. And then also the structural reinforcing the rebar in there. Want to show you guys that. And then the actual basement walkout and the door there. So let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are, we've got the house. We've got the house here. This is the foundation, the basement. We've done a little bit of excavation here. Well, quite a bit actually, we've got a mountain of dirt. Really fun, but Anyway, here's the <clears throat> the walkout. We cut this, this used to be a window here. You can tell there's a window there and then we, we turned it into a door, cut the bottom part of the window out and we've, we've left that four inches lower. So when we pour our walkout landing, we'll have fresh new concrete going underneath that um, threshold here so that we'll have, you know, we'll have our concrete there. <clears throat> so anyway, we're gonna have a drain here lots of gravel this is all getting backfilled with gravel eventually when we get done with the concrete concrete work but anyway this is where the stairs are and we've got these marked out here each step where they're going to go we're getting this tar cleaned off the foundation and uh it's coming off actually pretty well usually it isn't this easy i think it's because it's getting a little bit colder we usually do this in the middle of summer so it's nice to kind of do it in the fall but either way, it doesn't matter. So we have our stairs coming up and uh, ending at the top there. That's where the driveway or the RV pad elevation will be, is right there on that mark. And then stairs this way. So then that will all be filled in with, with uh, fill. And then here we have our rebar and our footing forming. So the footing basically holds the weight of the everything above it. So here you can see this foundation is resting on this footing. If you're not familiar with how footings work, we'll just talk about that for a little bit here. But basically all the way to the house comes down from the roof through the wood framing into the foundation wall and then all bears down on the, the foundation. So here we've got our, our new foundations formed up here where they step down. The elevation is gonna change here to step down to this lower level, matching what they did here on the house where it, where it steps down here. So we're gonna duplicate that same detail over here. And then our engineer has specified how much rebar to put in here. And it looks like that one's a little bit falling over, but we'll get that. So there's three rebars, three number four rebars in here. And uh, number four rebar is four eighths of an inch or half of an inch. So we've got th three number four rebars continuously through this whole footing. And then here we come to the dead man, what we call a dead man wall, which basically, because this is a retaining wall, the el this ground elevation is gonna maintain the same when we're all done. And this uh, foundation wall is gonna go up above the level of this fence. It's gonna be 12 feet tall, almost 13 feet tall by the time we get done with it. And then here, this is all gonna be filled with gravel and all that weight would push the wall over. And so what we've done, the engineer has figured out, and this is pretty typical, but basically that this footing and whatnot is gonna create such weight to hold, it'll be a restraining wall, basically. So we'll keep this main foundation wall from being able to pull out because this, one here will be up and tied in, connected in a T form to keep it from going that way. So got a lot of rebar here. That's really exciting to see that much rebar. We've got another dead man there. The foundation continues out and then another dead man. We've got dead man every 10 feet. So let me step down here very carefully. So yeah, here we have Another dead man, another dead man. 
by the time you get done doing all this, you might feel like a dead man. <laughs> but anyway, got another one here, another one, another dead man. And then the elevation, you might notice it's starting to go up into a hill here. So what we've done is we've engineered some more steps to save some concrete. Another dead man, another dead man. And each one of these is going to have a massive wall above it with a ton of steel rebar, just like this, vertically, though. So here we have another dead man. And then when we step up to this elevation here, it's a different detail. And it's a smaller dead man, which is nice. And then here we have another, this baby dead man. So there we go. That is the end of the, of the tour here, showing what's going on. We got our other rebar for the foundation walls delivered on site, ready to go. And so this is a more of an aerial view, what this is looking like. So we've got that all ready. All this is going to be a retaining wall that is a higher elevation than this existing grass. Same with back in the backyard of the house. And then this mountain of dirt is going to go away. And all this is going to be poured back with, with concrete driveway tying into the existing sidewalk and driveway that's on the other side of that pile. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll talk to you on the next time. Okay, so that's the update for today. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing that and learned some things about how footings and foundations work and retaining walls with the dead men and, and whatnot there and the reinforcement and then also the basement apartments. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on our website, danzydesignbuild.com and uh, schedule a consultation. We can talk to you about your basement walkout, your basement finish or what you have looking or what you're looking to have done there. Look forward to hearing from you. See ya.